Man UTD have advanced with a big bid to sign Dutch star, Chavi Simons, from Paris Saint, as per reports in the media. Last month, we covered a story via Lekeep claiming that the Red Devils have held talks with PSG over signing the versatile playmaker. More recently, as per Gazeta in Italy, Simons is not in the plans of Spanish boss, Luis Enrique. So, after spending the last two campaigns on loan, the 21-year-old may once again end up leaving PSG this summer. It remains to be seen whether the move will be another loan or a permanent one this time. GDS claim Man UTD have come forward with a big offer to sign Xavi Simons, who is brilliant at the European Championships for the Netherlands. Media outlets in Britain, The Sun and The Mirror, have also revealed that Ten Hag wants to lure his compatriot to Old Trafford. He provided an assist in the last group game against Austria and set up two goals in the round of 16 victory over Romania. In the semi-finals, Simon scored the opening goal of the contest against England thanks to a brilliant long-range drive. Not to forget, he hit a fantastic volley to find the net against France in the group stages, but the goal was controversially disallowed by VAR. Man UTD need to improve the quality and depth of their attacking midfield and Simons's flexibility can help them. For Leipzig, he directly contributed in 25 goals last term while mainly playing as a winger both left and right. On the other hand, at the Euros, Kuman mainly used the playmaker in the number 10 role behind the centre forward. As per reports, it would take a fee between 60 to 70 million euros, 50.6 million pounds, 60.2 million pounds, to get his signing done. Should Man UTD meet the above fee to sign Xavi Simons? According to Spanish outlet is, Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has spoken with Girona winger Viktor Sigankov to convince him over a transfer to Old Trafford. The Ukrainian star had a brilliant campaign with Girona in the Spanish La Liga. He registered eight goals and seven assists from 30 appearances as the Catalan club finished third in the league standings. He is currently on demand after his standout season and is claimed that Man United want to bring him to the Premier League. Ten Hag has conveyed the same to the winger to try and convince him. The 26-year-old has a low £26 million release clause attached to his contract. The Red Devils are looking to finalise personal terms with Sigankov such that they can open transfer talks with Girona. Fantastic winger. United recently sealed the deal for Dutch striker Joshua Zerksi from Bologna. The Red Devils agreed to pay £36.5 million to Bologna over three seasons instead of triggering the £34.5 million release clause in the striker's contract. This will help them spread the payment over multiple years in their financial books as well. The club could be interested in something similar for Sigankov, who has established himself as one of the best wingers in La Liga. The Ukrainian is good with the ball at his feet and has the ability to create key chances with his intrinsic passing. He also works hard for the team defensively when the game requires him to. He would be a fine signing for the Red Devils, but the big question mark is whether he can be guaranteed playing time. With Antony, Jadon Sancho, Alejandro Garnaco, Ahmad Diallo and Facundo Pellistri vying for places on the right wing, Sigankov may have second thoughts over a move to Old Trafford. Sancho and Pellistri have been linked with possible exits, but one of Antony or Ahmad may also have to leave. Sigankov has an assured starting role with Champions League football at Girona and he would not want to sit on the bench in the peak of his career. Manchester United are undergoing a significant squad overhaul this summer and the centre of defence looks to feel the brunt of it. Willy Camboala's exit is close to completion, with Matthijs de Ligt coming the other way, while the likes of Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof face doubt over their futures. Add to that Rafael Varane's exit and the need to have more cover to ease Lissandro Martinez, and the need for United to buy more than just Delict is clear. Unfortunately, evident sale of Amadou Onana makes Jared Branthwaite's transfer even more unlikely, transforming Lenny Yoro from an ambitious target to a borderline necessary one. Real Madrid make that move difficult as it is an open secret that the player prefers joining the Spanish giants. However, their latest plan of action indicates that the tide may be shifting. Real Madrid's contingency plan. It was believed that Madrid had such confidence in landing Euro that they were happily making lowball offers to Lille, knowing that Euro would run his contract down and join them on a free transfer next year. United blew that offer out of the water with an ambitious bid, 
adding Lille to the list of stakeholders who want Euro to join United now. The combination of that pressure along with United's own determination means that the tide is shifting in United's favour and Madrid might have come to the same realisation. Spanish outlet Mundo Deportivo reports that Madrid have started preparing contingency plans in the event they lose Euro to United. They have started making moves for Union Berlin's 25-year-old defender, Diogo Leet, who has a price tag of around £17 million, coincidentally the amount Madrid bid for Euro. Leet is also subject to interest from clubs like Sevilla and Bear Leverkusen, but unlike Euro's case, none of those can match the financial firepower of Madrid and also lack the project the Spanish side can sell to the player. Just like Amadou Onana's sale to Aston Villa potentially ends United's chances of landing Branthwaite for a reasonable price, this pivot by Madrid could mean United are now favourites for landing Euro. Urgency for a centre-back. United have other holes to fill in their squad, although the surprise reconciliation with Jadon Sancho probably pushes the need for an attacker back a bit. However, the middle of defence is the most urgent one due to the huge turnover in personnel. United haven't been concretely linked with any other centre-back apart from the trio of Euro, Branthwaite, and De Ligt. Branthwaite looks unlikely, and De Ligt is close to being secured, which leaves United's success hinging on Euro's decision. The bid was initially taken as an attempt to just register themselves on the big stage but as the situation is developing, it could age as more than just a statement of intent. A case can even be made that United could need more than just two new centre-backs, especially if Victor Lindelof or Harry Maguire leave the club, which means the success of their window could depend upon Euro's decision. It would be a huge coup if they beat Madrid in the race for one of Europe's prime defensive prospects and the chance of that happening looks better than ever. Manchester United are reportedly looking to offload one of Eric Ten Hag's most reliable squad members to raise funds for the Dutchman to spend this summer. The Red Devils are said to be willing to part ways with long-serving defender Victor Lindelof as Ten Hag aims to bolster his backline ahead of the new Premier League campaign. Lindelof made 28 appearances for the club in all competitions last season, his lowest total since arriving at the club seven years ago. He spent two separate periods on the sidelines due to injury, but otherwise has been utilised as backup to Harry Maguire, Rafael Varane and Lissandro Martinez. Lindelof has less than a year left to run on the £120,000 a week contract he signed in 2019. With time running out to cash in on the Sweden international, United are ready to consider offers for the centre-back. Under the club's new recruitment strategy, Ineos chief Sir Jim Ratcliffe has instructed all players with a year left on their contracts to be sold to boost the club's transfer budget. Mason Greenwood is set to complete his move to Marseille, while Facundo Pellistri, Aaron Juan Bissaka and Scott McTominay could all depart. United have already triggered the one-year extension clause option written into Lindelof's contract to prevent him from leaving on a free transfer. But the club are likely to take a huge loss on the £38 million transfer fee paid to Benfica to sign him in 2017. According to the Manchester Evening News, sources within the club say they are, trying hard, to flog the defender this summer to pave the way for new arrivals, with talks ongoing for Bayern Munich star Matthijs De Ligt and a bid rejected for evidence Jared Branthwaite. United have already decided to release Varane this summer and are set to sell 19-year-old Willy Camboala to Villarreal in an £8.5 million deal. However, Lindelof may still head for the exit if the club receive a sufficient transfer bid. It was reported in June that Turkish giants Fenerbahce made contact to inquire about Lindelof's availability, with his former boss Jose Mourinho keen for a reunion in Istanbul. But the Super League outfit are only keen on signing Lindelof if he is allowed to terminate his contract a year early. Lindelof was among the senior squad members to report for preseason on Monday, while Maguire has returned to preseason training after recovering from a muscle injury. Veteran defender Johnny Evans, 36, signed a new one-year deal on Friday to prolong his stay.